I am like just so beautiful. <laughs> Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So today's video is going to be some of my pet peeves when it comes to sex. So sex pet peeves. You know what? I'm actually a very chill girl to please. Like, I don't ask for much, but it's just some people are really useless and really lazy when it comes to sex and i just want to share with you guys some of my pet peeves so if you guys can relate to any of these make sure you give this video a like comment any other sex pet peeves you guys have if you guys feel comfortable enough doing that and uh, yeah let's get right into the video mm -mm -mm. so my first pet peeve is hard stimulation so like rubbing too hard or like very aggressive oral so let me go into a little bit of depth I can't stand when people, like when guys especially, when they're like rubbing the clitoris so hard and it's like, I hate having to tell people, oh you're going a bit too hard, because it just ruins the moment, I feel like it just ruins the vibe, so it's so annoying, but it happens so much, I don't think boys especially realise how sensitive a clitoris really is, you need to be like, lightly, you know, stimulating that clip, because um, that shit hurts, <laughs> I can't fathom how much this happens in the bedroom to the point where sometimes i come back with a sore ass clitoris my clitoris is written off it's red it's swollen it's like it looks like it's been in a car accident sometimes okay not really that that's mash up but um i can't stand when people just like go so aggressive on the vagina it's a light butterfly it's not needed you know a lot of people definitely need to practice that so yeah i don't mean to embarrass this person but you know what? The bitch deserves it. So, out of all people who have given me head, there's this one girl in particular who went down on me and it was probably the worst head of my life. She was going down on me so hard to the point where my clitoris was hurting for a week. A week. And this girl is a lesbian. She has a vagina herself. How the f a boys who don't even know like the, the sensitivity of a clitoris still manage to give me somewhat nice head how can out of all these people who give me head the girl give the worst head ever that was the most painful head of my life and it was from a girl what the f <laughs> i will say we did just come back from a night out she was drunk i was drunk so maybe that was part of it but i don't know like whether you're drunk or not that shit was too aggressive it was painful it should not be painful receiving head that shit hurting like the fuck <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna stop embarrassing her now but yeah that's my point basically i just hate rough stimulation <laughs> now pet peeve number two is jarring like i already know every girl goes through this when the guy finishes and then just assumes that the sex is over so, so when obviously you and your boyfriend or whatever are at it you're going at it blah, blah 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 and he finally comes and then just rolls over and he just turns over and he's like oh yeah that was amazing <laughs> nigga the fuck uh. like hi my name's shaz i'm also human and i also would like to finish don't be selfish don't be lazy you need to be giving in your effort i need to be giving in my effort you need to finish i need to finish this is a two-way system honey sex works both ways we both need to enjoy it i'm just gonna put it out there if i have just had sex and i have not finished just know i'm not happy that was not completed sex for me period make your girl calm don't just finish and roll over do you realize how unattractive that is boys actually don't realize how like unattractive that really is that is so jarring even if you have to go down on your girl or something or just go on the internet for fuck's sake for like five minutes and just learn to make a girl calm it's not that hard there are so many different articles and resources and even porn videos that you can watch to help your girl calm just put the effort into the relationship or whatever you guys are doing whether you guys are just smashing on the side whether you guys are together doesn't matter make the girl happy just like she's making you happy it needs to work both ways Pet peeve number three, mm, mm, mm. 
smelly private parts or just like dirty private parts i'm talking about smegma i hate smelly private parts if it's looking like a moldy piece of cheese you need to sort that out just even thinking about like a dirty penis right now it's just like <laughs> Do you know the amount of times I have been in this situation where I'm just like, oh, let's do this. It's like, you know, I'm about to give you the glock, glock, glock 1000. And then I'm going down on a guy and then that shit just smells like cheese. I'm just like, do I have to do this? Like, <laughs> so yeah clean your penis or vagina whatever i don't care just please clean your private parts i don't understand why people even get in that situation in the first place like it's really not that hard i watch a lot of sexual health shows and i've seen some people their cases like of smegma are so bad to the point where the smegma is like crossed over the penis how do you let it get to that point and then you have the audacity to still go out there and have sex with women or men nasty that is disgusting you don't even need products or any kind of like hygiene products nothing all you need is lukewarm water to clean yourself that's it if you've got a penis it takes probably 10 seconds if you've got a vagina 20 seconds max it's just really not that hard to clean your private parts so um yeah gross sort yourself out let's just say if you can smell your penis or your vagina from where you're sitting that shit ain't good that's not good <laughs> pet peeve number four unexpected anal play <laughs> Now, <laughs> this should not even be a pet beef. This should not even be a thing. A lot of times in my life, I will be just like in doggy, you know, doing my thing, having sex with a guy or whatever. And all of a sudden, like, he'll just like shove a finger in my bum. Don't do that. Do not shove a finger in my butt unexpectedly. Okay, so the reason I say this is I wouldn't mind as long as it's, you know, as long as I'm expecting it, I wouldn't mind. But when it's unexpected, it's just so annoying. So a lot of people don't realize that you're actually meant to prepare the anus before doing any kind of anal play. So it's kind of like boys with boners. You have to obviously have a boner before you have sex. Same with girls, you have to be sexually aroused before you have sex in order for it to feel good. You can't just shove a hard penis into a floppy vagina. It's not gonna work, is it? It's gonna feel uncomfortable or just really weird. It's the same with anal. A couple of ways you can do this is blow on the penis, you could caress it like softly, like, you know, rub around it and then like gently start to go in. You need to make sure it's nice and smooth and not too fast. Make sure there's loads of lube, whether it is spit or make sure you're using water-based lubes, etc. You need to make sure that area is nice and wet and lubed up before anything goes in there otherwise that shit is gonna hurt anal walls are pretty much just as thin as tracing paper if you know what tracing paper is then you know that shit is thin if anything it even can be thinner so people rip their anal walls when they're literally just having a poo so could you imagine like going in there being all rough and stuff you're gonna mess up your anal walls so it's important to look after your anus if you're into that kind of shiz in particular i'm not really into anal don't really find it that satisfying like if someone asked me to do it yeah that's calm i'll do it just know that i'm not really into it <laughs> so yeah i do not like any kind of unexpected anal play i just hate when guys like just shove it in it's just so f***ing rude like don't be disrespecting my anus like that consent is key <laughs> So my next sexual pet peeve is when no what doesn't mean no. When a girl or a guy is not in the mood or says no, but their partner's like, no, let's just do it, let's just do it. And the person doesn't want to do it, but they just do it because they want to impress their partner. Please no, this does class as sexual assault. If your partner says no, they're not in the mood, leave them alone. Simple as. A lot of people think because I'm in a relationship, it's normal to have sex, blah, 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 blah. But no, you can be sexually assaulted whether you're married or in a relationship, it doesn't matter. Sexual assault can happen no matter what the companionship is when a person tells you no leave them alone unless you want a fucking case now i'm not going to get too into detail into this one because i feel like this is a whole video in itself so i'm going to make a whole video about that because i have a lot to say about you know sexual assault no means no simple another pet peeve 
when guys don't moan during sex i find that so annoying because i've seen a lot of posts on instagram like guys are uncomfortable moaning they find it embarrassing and stuff but they don't actually realize that us girls find it so attractive i love when a guy moans i love it so much I absolutely just love it it turns me on even more think about it guys if you're a guy watching this right now and you're hearing your girl moan and that turns you on doesn't it hearing like a girl moan while you're having sex with them well, it's the same with us it's the same likewise we feel the exact same way we love when guys moan it makes me just want to ride you like it just makes me just want to get aggressive like i love when guys moan it's it's probably one of the sexiest things they can do during sex keep moaning guys don't be shy keep moaning this is gonna sound really lazy, but this is another pet peeve of mine. Not much of a pet peeve, I just can't be asked to do it. <clears throat> Going on top. So, <laughs> hear me out. I don't know what it is. How comes, like, guys can go on top, but girls... Like, guys can go on top for ages and ages and keep going and going and going, and it's fine. And for some reason, when girls, like, as soon as we get on top, 10 seconds and our legs are dead. They are gone. Like, I don't know, because I actually want to be on top more. I find it attractive, like, looking at the guy while I'm on top, like, bouncing on him. I do find that attractive, and I wish I could be on top more. Like, not only is it a lot louder, I've noticed for some reason when girls are on top, and it just bloody hurts my thighs. And, you know, like, your girl has got asthma, so, like, within 10 seconds, my lungs are like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So I just can't can't be on top for like more than 15 seconds max i can try like i'll keep pushing myself like i think the longest i've been on top is like five minutes <laughs> it's not really a pet peeve because i wish i could go on top more but i don't know it just it just hurts our eyes really right i think i'm gonna wrap this video up here because i'm pretty sure that's all of my sex pet peeves i probably have more i'm quite a bitch but uh <laughs> Right, so that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe, I will post more. Uh -huh. <coughs> so uh, subscribe. Boom. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week or next month or next year, just depending on how I feel. Okay, bye everybody. Okay.